meter, which will be shown by odometer. Understand? No, no, no. Total distance traveled by a body is shown by odometer. So at that moment, outside one you can see. So what speed our body is traveling? It has been shown by speedometer. What is that? Speedometer. So we are having two kinds of meters in our bike. You go and see. So one is total distance measured that will be in unit is kilometers. So that made that that meter we used to call as odometer device. And outside at that instant speed, the body speed, at what speed the body is traveling, that unit will be in kilometer per hour. And that speed has been shown by what guys? It has been shown by speedometer. Speedometer. Okay? These are the two things you have to remember. So to, to measure the total distance traveled by a body, we will use which device? We will use, we'll use which device? Odometer. Odometer. And the speed, to find the speed at that moment, understand? So a speed of a running vehicle at any instant of time is known by using an instrument ways to measure with what? Speedometer. Speedometer. Speed. Speedometer. So, speedometer will measure in what units, guys? What is the unit of speedometer? Speedometer. Kilometer per hour. Yeah. Speedometer will measure at that instant moment or at any particular moment, whatever the speed of the body, which will be measured by speedometer. Now, if you take odometer, so what is the unit of odometer? Odometer will be. Kilometer. So, this will never change. It will be keep on increasing only, not decreasing, because distance keep on increases, traveling distance. So, odometer is also installed in a car, which records the distance in what units, guys? Distance in kilometers and gives you total distance traveled by a body. What is that? Total distance traveled by a body. So that is what we used to call as speedometer and odometer. Any doubt? No, sir. No? That's fine. Very good. So this is all about speed and as well as average speed and as well as variable speed. And same way, what is that? Uniform motion and as well as non-uniform motion. Till here, any doubt, guys? Now, no, sir. understand this, no, sir. we are going to study the next concept is called as velocity. So, velocity also again three types. What is the three types? I already taught you. Uniform. 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 Yeah, non-uniform velocity. And as well as. And as well as what? Average velocity. Okay. So now, let us come to the, what do you mean by velocity? Remember, till class 8, okay? So speed or velocity, both are speed, same. Is it okay, guys? Till class 8, speed or velocity, we'll study same meaning, okay? Nothing is. Here also we are studying. In this chapter also, uh, we'll mention a word. Instead of speed or velocity, I can use any word, either speed or velocity, or velocity or speed, you have to consider as a, Velocity only in this chapter we will study. Okay. But till class 8, it is same. So why sir means class 9th will study what is the main difference between speed and velocity so that you can understand. So already we know the speed formula. What is the speed formula? Distance by time. Is it a sir? No, guys. Distance traveled divided by time taken. Is it a yes? please respond? Now, so that is yes, what. Sir. I am saying. So, for example, I will say, uh, Arun Kailas traveled 15 kilometers, understanding, in two hours. So, this is what I can say speed or velocity. This is what I can say speed, understanding. So, speed of Arun Kailas, which is equals to 15 kilometers in how many hours, guys? How many hours? Two hours. So, we can get, so his speed is, his speed is, 7.5 kilometer per hour we can say so this is what the speed so am i mentioning any direction here arun kailas traveled east arun kailas traveled west arun kailas traveled west, uh, north south like that am i mentioning any direction no is it no. 
Now, Arun Kaila traveled 15 kilometers in two hours. Will give you what, guys? Speed it will give you. Is it yes or no? Now, Arun Kaila, same Arun Kaila traveled 15 kilometer towards to east. Towards to what? Towards to east in two hours. Then, this is called as speed or velocity. Anybody? Speed or velocity? Velocity. Do velocity. You so why? I am mentioning east direction. This is what we used to say, difference between velocity and speed. So in velocity, we also will mention what? Displacement. Also mention direction. So kindly keep it in mind that. Also we can mention direction in velocity, but speed, speed does not having any direction. So you can notice it, for example, he traveled 15 kilometer towards to east. So it is having 15 kilometers, 15 is the magnitude, do you understand it? So magnitude and as well as it is east is the what? Direction. So magnitude and direction, both what we used to call guys? Magnitude and direction, both we used to call as? It is the vector quantity. Kindly remember. So, whenever you are mentioning, okay, direction of a moving body, then you can say it is scalar or vector quantity. This is the vector, vector quantity. Okay. Vector. If no direction, scalar quantity. If direction is mentioned, then I can say it is vector quantity. Clear? Please. Okay, guys. So that is what velocity. So I can say from here, velocity definition. Can anybody say what is the velocity definition, please? Yeah, please. So now you tell me, we have to use distance or displacement. If it is traveling in a straight line, he traveled towards to east. So now, Arun Kailas is in A point. He traveled to B point towards to east. So towards to east means, so it is the shortest distance. Is it yes or no? Shortest distance means what we used to call, guys? Distance, distance or distance. displacement. That is what. Clear, everybody? So I can say velocity means what? Distance by time or displacement by time? Distance by time or displacement by time? Displacement by time. So velocity is equal to, I can say, instead of distance, I can say what, guys? Displacement by time. Do you understand everybody? So that is what you have to remember, known as velocity. So now you can write the definition. Velocity. The time, the time rate, the time rate change of displacement is called velocity. The time rate change of displacement, the time rate change of displacement is called velocity the time rate change of displacement the time rate the time rate change of displacement displacement is called velocity is it okay everybody now you remember is it possible to make the distance negative Suppose I can say, uh, Harris traveled five, minus 5 kilometers. Harris traveled minus 10 kilometers. Is it possible to say like that? Harris speed is, Harris speed is 20 kilometer per hour, minus 20 kilometer per hour. Harris speed is 10 kilometer, minus 10 kilometer per hour. Is it possible to say the speed in negative? No, sir. Yeah, no, sir. nobody can travel in negative speed. Is it yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Yes? So always people will travel in increasing speed only. So speed will never become zero or never become negative. Do you understand everybody? Never become zero or zero. never become negative. Clear everybody? Yes, please respond. So yes, now speed, speed will become, speed what is happening? Speed will never become negative or zero. Okay, so speed is always what? Speed is always positive. So not becoming, not become zero or negative. So kindly have to remember because we are, uh, we know that speed does not have what? Direction, understanding? So that is why it may, it will never become or not become, you can see better never, never becomes 
zero or negative okay for what speed but if it comes to the velocity so velocity as i told you already so the time rate change of displacement is called velocity so now you can say velocity can be either positive or negative or zero sir how sir positive negative zero so the situation will come i will say so the speed will never become zero but velocity will become what zero velocity. negative it will become positive understanding or it will become zero and it will become what it will become negative that is what you have to remember so velocity will become positive or uh, zero or negative so everything is same so that is what kindly keep it in mind and you have to proceed so who will become zero velocity might be become zero but it never, never becomes that is what you have to remember because velocity always having one direction but speed is having how many directions multiple number of directions any direction it can go is there no guys yes sir yes sir so that is what we used to call it as velocity now what is the units of velocity again everybody ready danishkar gokul units of velocity please units of velocity same guys nothing is there same way we can say like speed so units of velocity what is that guys yes cgs unit are cgs unit cgs and si unit per second or we can say centimeter second inverse now same way what is the si unit everybody what is the si unit meter per meter meter per meter second per. or we can say sorry meter second inverse meter second inverse that is what you can say it and you can do it so this is the cgs unit of speed and this is the si unit of speed is it okay guys yes sir yes, respond so that is what we is uh, like uh, everybody uh, you have to understand what is the si and cgs unit of Uh, velocity and what is the distance between difference between speed and velocity? So now, speed means once again I'm saying so speed means we can say any distance divided by any given interval of time. Is it yes or no, guys? So there is no kind of uh, speed means no restriction that direction is not mentioned and nothing is like we can say that whatever the speed body can go, it can go. Whatever the direction it wants to go, it can go. So that is what. we can say speed is is not a vector quantity what is the quantity it is it is the scalar quantity scalar quantity okay so why it is having only magnitude so no direction is existent so if we we'll take velocity but symbol is what both symbol is v only do you understand it so velocity symbol is v so now it is but it is having direction also so it is called as what quantity vector quantity vector quantity okay so vector quantity so now if you notice it vector quantity if you take so both magnitude and as well as what it is having Direct, both magnitude. direction direction so both magnitude and direction so that what we should call it it is a vector quantity clear so that is the thing you have to remember so this is all about what is speed and as well as what is velocity so now let it be so now i hope you all understand everything clear any doubt so if you understand this then types of velocity will study so let it be we will study in the next class so now types of velocity so velocity also three types how many what is that anybody what is that uniform velocity uh, uniform non uniform and average yeah uniform velocity non uniform also we can call it as what variable velocity la yeah. uniform non uniform velocity plus another one is what uniform velocity uniform velocity and another one is average velocity what is that guys average velocity average velocity so this definitions are now let it be study in the next class but till here you practice it and uh, you have to get ready for the tomorrow's class is it okay guys yes sir 